You all loaded up? Ready. Head out west. This has been pretty rough spring, really cold so far and uh, kind of rainy. And this is the first weekend we're actually getting some warm weather. But if we go out west, we get another almost 10 degrees warmer. So we're heading out that direction and uh, probably end the evening by the beach. So we'll nice have a good time. Nice this day, day of the year so far. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it stays that way. Got some little crab pots, got a Takura fishing rod. Got everything ready for some camping. So I've heard a lot of people tell me and say on forums and different videos that you can't do highway speeds with these mini trucks. Yeah, they're right. You can't do highway speeds with them. Oh shucks. Oh well. This is always a super nice section to drive past out here. Beautiful. So nice to see the trees starting to green up. Some of these uh, deciduous, these alders here in the maples and uh, all the berry bushes along the side of the road. A little windy out here today. Man, that's a big log. Look at the size of that thing. That thing's like six feet across, five and a half maybe. Keep in mind, we're coming up to that section of the highway with mass amounts of potholes, so watch your ribs and tires. Lots of shellfish out here. Let's see if we can find any clams possibly. Trying to get into uh, utilizing some of the resources we have around here. Start getting into crabbing this year and got some razor clams recently at the coast and starting to find the good spots to find uh, shellfish out here. So let's see what we can come up with. Didn't bring a shovel out here today, but grabbed an old shell and found a first clam. Good. Found another one here. Pretty good size one. Oop, there we go. Nice. A little bit of a treasure hunt here. Michael's finding lunch. <laughs> right, Andy's bringing out the big guns. What's that, like a World War II shovel? Clam <laughs> digger. So I put some little guys back. You can see they're always coming out, but look at those. Got some good, good ones nice here. Storm. All right, let's see what we can do. You want to put in a, with a shovel? Let's see if you can flip them, flip them over. Let's get a shovel something here. Hold on. Maybe right one there. Nice. Get the eye for it. <laughs> Seems a large shaft. Kind of in the air just before the snark stuff, huh? Yeah. Let's see. We gotta replace our divots after that. Look at this guy. Yeah. This is too small. It's a different variety. He's 
Is that a varnish clam, maybe? You can see, it's all bulging out there. Those are the ones you don't want. They, they hold that biotoxin longer, supposedly. Right there, that's something. There it is. In a nice stash. About to, yeah, definitely fill all these little holes in here. But. Clean salt water in there and rinse those shells out a little bit more so we can have those clams later this evening for some dinner. Go Look at the size of that shell. That's insane. Kind of amazed how warm the water is out here right now on these uh, sand flats. They just really warmed up quite a bit. Let's check the stash. Look at those guys, man. Yeah. They're looking good. Don't really need to take any more than we can eat. That's probably <laughs> clammed out anyways. We might catch much. a fish too. We got a couple spots to stop at. Yeah. I just... That's gonna work. Yeah, let him get away. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Fairly thin. There we go. Should be pretty good. So we just found out this river is closed until first Saturday before Memorial Day. Lots of sign of elk through here, big elk footprints in the soft soil. But people are starting to find some more elk, so we're just gonna kind of scan this area real quick before we hop back in the trucks. What a beautiful spot. Let's see what we can find through here. So nice to see, these are uh, some early little leaves coming out of some salmon berries, but it's so nice to see everything starting to get greened up here. Let's see if we can find some more elves and move on. Let's see the elk come up and down through here frequently. There's a big elk print right there. You can see, you know, it's two thirds the size of my hand. Beautiful little meadow through here. No more elves yet, but we found a really good sized spruce tree. Oh, it's double. There's two of them. That's a proper spruce. Yeah. So there's double spruce. This one might actually be bigger over here. Yeah, that's a biggie. Probably seven feet at least at the base, crossed. Fall off its logo. Yeah, that's always that chance. So unfortunately that river is closed for a few more weeks until you can actually do some trout fishing and we never found any morels there. It was a nice spot to walk around. Decided to push on and to head to a local lake, try our luck with the trout there. Take a look at the fly I got. Literally the first fish I caught out of this lake and with this rod, an fish and wildlife guy pulls up. <laughs> hey, can I check your guys' license? Now nah, he was all right, but it kind of distracted me as soon as I landed this fish. I just got a 
a tangled mess over here. Yeah. bites here for a little while really battle in the wind though it's only on occasion can you cast up this direction when the wind's not blowing too bad right now it's not too bad but still a little bit see so yeah, i got uh about seven good bites and started bringing them towards the log here but i'm not used to these takara rods no reel still trying to perfect my technique but i did land three Fortunately, the first one I landed was as soon as I landed it, a fish and wildlife guy pulled up here and it kind of ruined the moment for me. First fish I ever caught on this Takara rod and uh, right when the guy pulls up to check the license, which we're all good, but it still kind of ruined the moment a little bit. He was nice, totally pleasant, but kind of took me out of the zone. There would be many more, many more fish here. Well, you guys can see I got a little one there on the line. Here with the, the car rod. Let's see if I can bring him up here. There he is. All right, get that hook out of your mouth, buddy. We'll let you go. He's got another one. Pretty good. They're a little, but there's quite a few we're catching here. All right, get this guy off the hook and see if we can get a few more. Well, how'd you do, man? Yeah. I got some bites. Yeah. Oh, you grabbed some garbage, huh? Yeah. Good. Well, I got about eight to nine bites where I almost got them in that got off, but I actually landed about five. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's hey, windy. you're a little windy. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, your muddy bike's still faster than mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, the fly I had was sinking. I don't know if it was just water, you know, saturated. Good, thank you, man. Yeah, I think Grab this beer here too. Good. We could probably fill up a full-size trash bag walking along this road here, but we'll grab a few things that we can, but that was fun. Super nice out. I think uh, being first really sunny day, we're gonna be burnt by the end of the weekend here. Sunshine. <laughs> so, like we said, when we first made the videos on these things, we weren't gonna tell people what we made them out of in case it didn't work, and uh, with the hot weather, it's uh, starting to de -lamb a little bit. I think I can resolve this with a few screws, but... <laughs> Hey, it's still waterproof. It hasn't peeled up on the, around the corners, but... <laughs> yeah. It'll look, it'll go back to normal when it cools off. <laughs> yeah, we did them in the winter. <laughs> All right, winter. so if you were one of those people that really had to know what we made these out of, and we said they're just prototypes, we don't know. Then, uh, Probably reskin them with something else. Yeah, we're going to put some... A lot of people wanted to know the recipe, and it's like, well, didn't really want to share it because we didn't really want to lead anyone astray because it was still testing, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready to head down the road? It's just an extra added feature. Yeah. <laughs> so the funny thing is, later that evening when it cooled off, that all wrinkles just went away on the side of the camper. But it's going to probably come back on hot summer days sitting out in the sun, so not really good to leave it on there. I do have a way to salvage it, I think by slicing it and giving a few relief points and retaping the seams and putting a few extra screws in. Or better yet, just remove it and skin it with some better material I've since tracked down for a camper. Nice, I uh, just checked the temp out here, it's 82. I bet it's probably 15 degrees colder back at my house, so definitely getting warm out here. Getting kind of later in the evening, we're planning to find a good camp spot and uh, get a little bit of hiking and spend the evening down by the beach with a campfire, so it should be good. Excellent evening, nice and hot out. 
I want to give a big thanks to the three different musicians sending me tracks to be used in most of my videos these days. Videos wouldn't have the same charm without them. So thanks, guys. And if you want to support these local musicians, you know, well, local from Montana, local from Washington, check them out. There'll be links below to most of the musicians' the music down there and uh, maybe buy some MP3 albums or consider buying a t-shirt, something like that. Support those guys. It is so rough. You got the tires aired up to 50 PSI for the highways. It just travels down the road better with better power, but makes this gravel roads kind of rough. You should probably air them down and just be lazy about it. All right, got the camping spot for the night. Met up with Jordan over here. He's got the mods, the bongo. What year is the bongo? It's a 95. And turbo diesel? Yeah, 2.5. Nice, dude. Yeah, you're rolling a much bigger engine than us. <laughs> it's yeah. also called the Friendy. Yeah, oh. Bongo Friendy. Free <laughs> so he's parked up over here hanging out. Bongo van. Now we're going to head down to the water and uh, have a nice campfire. Couldn't tell no one's been on the trail for getting your face covered in spider webs, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> hey man, I'm not spotting the waiver. Can't use that. I brought him in. Oh really? Yeah. Maybe yeah. in for a treat, depending on how they turn out. Can <laughs> sometimes they do too much. Uh, <laughs> gonna make a little campfire right up in here, hopefully above the high tide line, and cook some food. Pretty nice having the campfire on the beach like that with the big waves crashing in the background. I'm tired out. It's been a long day, so off to bed. Make some coffee here real quick and have a little snack before we get back on the road again. Slept okay last night. Woke up a few different times, but all in all, pretty decent sleep. So if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider subscribing if you're not. And even if you are subscribed, consider hitting the notification bell because YouTube is completely awful about notifying most of my subscribers that got new videos up. I also have a wide range of content on my channel. You'll probably find something you like. parking lot we'll clean up here too try to leave it cleaner than we found it all right i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below i'll also put a link to my brother's channel he's got the white honda acti attack 
his channel is called Olympic Overland. I'll put a link below in the description to his channel. Check that out if you like content like this. I think you'll like his channel. Well, never got the chance to throw those crab pots in the water. Uh, just really windy and cold this morning down the coast, so we decided to pack up and go check out some rivers inland a little bit. And later on, it's kind of getting nice out, probably mid-60s and blue sky, so we're heading back for the from the camping trip. But had a great time, looking forward to many more trips like this, just getting out doing something nice, and uh, always leave our camp spots cleaner than when we found them. All right, until next time, take care. Bye.